President Ruto have been welcome in Nyanza. And I'm seeing there's a political change grooming up in Nyanza due to Raila Amolo Dinga's influence associating himself with the government. I want us to break this into our political discussion that why do you think Ruto have changed his political tactics and visited, and visited Nyanza region? But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. I want to take this golden chance to thank you so much for your subscription, for your like, for your comment in this broadcast. Because if it was not your support, then this YouTube channel could have not reached or grown to where it is as of now. I want to be very much brief because I had that interest to show you what is happening in Nyanza. Then tomorrow I'll enlarge it and expand it more how Ruto is going to uh, manage to entice Nyanza region to vote for him. But for now, let us just let me just be brief and tell you why Ruto have received heroic reception in Nyanza. Number one, due to Raila Odinga's influence in the government, this has brought a lot of political tactics. And let us not be jealous, but just remain focused with Kila Mutu atumia njiazake. Kwa sababu Ruto pia natumia atu njiazake, wepi utumia njiazake. So Raila Odinga's influence, Ruto is trying to test the ground and confirming if Raila Odinga's influence is going to bring him impact. And in any case, if this happens, then the probability of Ruto to manage his second term in the office is 95%. Because it's going to be simple and clear, taking Nyanza vote, even if it is 65%, then Central, I know they will still vote for Ruto in order to rescue Rigadi Gashagwa. Then Rift Valley Block, then Nyanza. Western, we have Oparanya. And the other parts of the country will do, get in and vote him. That is how Ruto is calculating his thing. And I told even it is going to be very clear that Ruto can win with or without Rigadi Gashagwa. With or without Rigadi Gashagwa. Underline that. Because I'm seeing... For Nyanza people might vote Ruto. Nyanza people might vote Ruto due to Raila Odinga. Where is he going to stand on his political potential? If Raila Odinga is going to influence the people of Nyanza, telling them that vote Ruto, then that is going to be 85%. But again, there is going to be political betrayal because Raila Odinga uh, is being expected to endorse Kalonzo Msioka. I keep on repeating this for you to understand. And, in, and again, when you view that uh, reception, Ruto is also trying to pave his way and making a strong political ground on Raila Odinga's stronghold. So that is why he's determined and having a focus to take Raila Odinga's stronghold. Is there any probability for Raila Odinga to allow Ruto to, to convince his people? Yes, the answer is uh, 85%, even 92 because Raila Odinga is expecting Ruto to endorse him on the AU job, campaign for him as the president. Yesterday you, you saw what happened. East African head of state were in state house. So it means that both Ruto and Raila Odinga are in need of one another. Ruto in need of Raila, Raila in need of Ruto. And that is why we are seeing all that political tactics or change have abruptly happened in our country. But politics will come and go. What I want to emphasize and I advise you that to forget all about political discrimination, political bitterness, political humiliation, and focus as a country. And I want to, again to urge Ruto, in any case, he's having a chance to get in the office as a second president, as a second term president, I mean. He should again focus on how he can take this country to the next level and avoid all this drama. Kenyans are still suffering and expecting more changes to be done. That is what I can advise him and let him subject himself to the people in the country. So Nyanza visitation is very unique and it is, it is a catalyst 
for William Ruto 2027. Believe me or not, it is going to happen and you've seen that heroic reception. How can our laws in Nyanza have welcomed Ruto? So basically, Raila Odinga is, might entice these people together with other CSS to convince these people and vote William Ruto. So votes of Raila Odinga's stronghold is being captured and we are as well seeing Ruto's movement is being testified across the country. So it is upon other politician opponent to prepare the earlier the better and calculate their movement as early as possible in order not to cry, oh, I'm a nyimwa, oh, I'm a fanya hivi. That is politics. If you can't plan yourself, you will be planned for. And if you are planned for, it is going to be vice versa. You are going to fail. That is what seems to happen. We are on, on Nyanza and still proceeding with Nyanza. Let's wait the reaction and the result. Ruto's visitation to Nyanza. Thank you so much.